Let's consider how to calculate the heat duty, or heat transfer rate, in this heat exchanger. To do this, we will need to use the overall heat transfer equation shown here. Let's go over what each of these terms mean. Q is the rate of heat transfer from the hot to the cold fluid. It has SI units of watts, or joules per second. U is the overall heat transfer coefficient, which is inversely proportional to the total resistance to heat transfer as heat moves from the hot to the cold fluid. That means that if resistance to heat transfer is low in the heat exchanger, the overall heat transfer coefficient will be high, resulting in a higher heat transfer rate. The total resistance is the sum of the individual resistances for the hot side, cold side, and pipe walls, which can be calculated using empirical correlations or found in a table. A is the area over which heat is being exchanged. This is a surface area of the pipe, which is a function of the circumference and the length. If there is a longer pipe or a larger diameter, there will be a larger area for heat transfer. This results in a higher heat transfer rate. The last term is the log mean temperature difference, which is the driving force for heat flowing from the hot to the cold fluid. This is a function of delta Ta and delta Tb, which are the differences between the hot and cold fluid at two different locations in the heat exchanger. We use the log mean temperature difference because the temperature difference between the hot stream and cold stream along the heat exchanger is not constant. If there is a large difference in hot and cold temperatures, that will lead to a higher log mean temperature difference, resulting in a higher heat transfer rate. Here are some thought exercises to consider. For the log mean temperature difference, does it matter whether the top or bottom of the heat exchanger is location A or B? You may want to try doing a few calculations to help you. Think about what causes resistance to heat transfer in a heat exchanger. Do a unit analysis to determine the units of the overall heat transfer coefficient. Another video will go into the overall heat transfer coefficient in more detail.